Good evening. Hello, Jacqueline. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you? I estaba conectando el audio. Okay. How are you tonight? Fine. It's funny. Okay. Cool. Uh, hello, Oscar. Good evening. Good evening, Jacqueline. Good evening, teacher. Hello, welcome to the class. How was your day, Oscar? Good evening, Oscar. Today it was very stressful because the traffic is uh, is terrible, teacher. By the way, uh, on the on the morning I I went to the I went to the La Union. After that, I returned to Lane. And uh, in conclusion, the the trip is very stressful. Okay, and you have been riding, riding your motorcycle? No, 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 your no, car? no, 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 I drove in my car because uh, if you, if you remember the, the weather is, is, is very complicated. Oh but yes, we raining. had had a really bad weather. Is it raining there? there? Is it raining there? San Vicente, what rain? Ah, okay. Hello, Xiomara. Hello, Stephanie. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good night. How are you tonight? I am good. Okay. That's that's really nice. Okay, so as you know, today is our last class. We are going to finish this course tonight. So um, the question is, have you already finished the platform exercises and the platform evaluation? Yes. Uh, in my case, I finished. Uh, okay, and what about you, Sumara, Stephanie, and Jacqueline? I, am I finished yesterday. I finished. Yesterday. Uh, yesterday, you have already finished the platform. That's great. Congratulations to everyone. Uh, if somebody has a problem, just tell me and I can help you, right? We need to finish that tonight. To, today is the due date. Right? Hoy es el día que tenemos que dejar todo eso terminado. O oh, al menos hasta el 80%. The 80%. Do you have an equation? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de los ejercicios de la plataforma? Any question. How was the final exam? Was it easy or difficult? In my case, teacher, to be honest, I received it. I received to help. Ah, okay. You have to ask for help. Yeah. Did you ask to Rolando? No, it, it, I'm not <laughs> sure, but Jacqueline helped me. I oh. think so. Okay, it was Jacqueline. Oh, I that's great. I, by the way, I appreciate Jacqueline your help. <laughs> you <Igual. laughs> Ahí okay. nos ayudamos. Okay, Jacqueline said that it was a pleasure to help you. Okay, let's start with tonight's class. Let's go with the last topic. Today we're going to have a final course review. Vamos a tener un pequeño repaso ¿verdad? de algunos temas que vimos en este curso. So let's go with this. Here we go. So welcome to your class number 16. And this is the topic for today, final course review. But before we, before to go to the review, we still have this topic. In this session, we will work on pronunciation in the team in order to sound natural by linking final T sound and D sound inverse with the vowels that follow. So, in esta clase, vamos a ver un poquito acerca de pronunciación, ¿verdad? Eh, Cómo unir los sonidos ¿verdad? cuando los verbos terminan en T o en sonido de D con la vocal que comienza la siguiente palabra. So, let's start with this. Eh, pronunciation. 
linking sound. So listen and practice final T sound in D sound in birds. Look at this example. Have you cook lunch yet? And yes, I have already cooked it. So el sonido final de cooked, it's a T, right? Do you remember this part? Cooked. Entonces este sonido se une con la siguiente palabra. Se hace un solo sonido. As you can see here in the example, have you ever tried Cuban food? And you say, yes, I tried. I tried. Tried. ¿Se acuerdan en qué sonido termina? Try. Is it D or T? T. Sí. Okay. It's D sound. It's D. I D. It's D sound. So you say, I tried. I tried it. Then we... Um, let's see, we link, we link this sound. I tried it once in Miami. So let's listen, let's listen these examples. Listen, Teacher, Teacher. Yes. Ahí es donde lo confunden los americanos a uno. Y una vez le digo, try it. Solo, eh. Some of them look each other. Y me dijeron que estaba en medio de los mistakes. Me dijeron otra vez. Ay, no. Um, Cuando uno suena D, le dicen que es T. Es ahí donde me enchivolo todo. Ah, ok, but we have already studied these rules, right? Cuando termina en T en sonido de T y cuando termina en sonido de T. Lo vimos hace como dos clases. Do you remember that? Ok. Yes, I remember. Ok, just listen this. Listen this example. Listen and practice. Can you listen? Yes. Ok, here we go. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Oh, listen again. Pay attention to these sounds. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Okay, ¿cuál es la pronunciación que escucharon? Yes, I have already cooked it. Yes, I tried it once in Miami. So they uh, link, link the sound, the final sound of the verb with the, the vowel at the beginning of the next word. So I have already cooked it. Yes, I tried it once in my job. Who wants to try? I need two volunteers in this part. Who wants to participate? Any volunteer tonight? Thank you, Jacqueline. Anyone? Any volunteer? I have Jacqueline and Stephanie. Thank you so much. Stephanie, can you please read the question and Jacqueline the answers? Have you cooked lunch as yet? Yes, have, yes, have already cooked it. Have you ever tried a Cuba, Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Okay, thank you. So cooked it and I tried it. We link these sounds, right? We have to link these sounds. Thank you so much. Uh, anyone? I need two volunteers again. Who wants to participate? Kenny está levantando la mano, teacher. Is that true, Kenny? You can do it, Kenny. <laughs> Me and Oscar. Uh, okay, excellent. So, Oscar, you are going to read the answer and Kenny the questions. Me Thank no you, Kenny. speak English. <laughs> Okay, have you ever cooked lunch yet? Yes, I I ready I am ready cook cook it. I will. I will. I have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I try it. 
I try it. I try it once in Miami. Once in Miami. Okay, very good. Yes. I've already cooked it. Cooked it. I already cooked it. Yes, I tried it once in Miami. We are going to use the final sound of the verb and we are going to link it with, with the following word. En este caso es it, que comienza con una vocal. I tried it, cooked it. So let's take a look at the next example. Thank you so much, Oscar and Kenny. Listen and practice. So let's go with this practice. Try to pronounce the answer linking the sound T or D at the end of the verbs. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Okay, let's take a look at this another example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I cut it. Or I cut it. No, I haven't cut it. So let's pay attention to the pronunciation. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. How do you ever cut your hair? Say, yes, I cut it. No, I haven't cut it. We link the sound T from the verb cut and the vowel sound in it. Cut it. Cut it. Have you ever cut your hair? By the way, ¿alguna vez se han cortado el cabello? Have you ever cut your hair? The girls? Yes, have cut it. Oh, you say, yes, I have cut it. Oh, no, I haven't cut it. Now, let's see the next example. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? ¿Se acuerdan de Heidi que comía esto? Que bajaba al pueblo a cambiar el queso de las cabras. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? ¿Alguna vez han probado ese tipo de queso? ¿Queso de cabra? I haven't born no, yet, teacher. <laughs> so you say, I wasn't born. I wasn't born. I wasn't born yet. No había nacido. <laughs> I know that it's kind of frustrating, right? But the verb we used to say, I was born, is the verb to be. I was born in. So that is the, the expression, right? I was born, or I wasn't born yet. No había nacido todavía. So here is the answer. Have you ever tasted gold cheese? No, I haven't tasted. It taste it, and let's do next. Have you ever tried Korean food? Then, yes, I have already tried, tried it or tried it. Yes, I have already tried it or tried it. Se acuerdan este tried en qué sonido termina en T sound or D sound. With D sound. With D sound. Entonces la pronunciación correcta sería tried it. Yes, I have already tried it. And the next. Have you ever watched Harry Potter movies? No, I haven't watched. What is the final sound of this bear? D or T? Say no, I With haven't. D. It's T sound, so you say watch, watched it. No, I haven't watched it. Mm, let's see the other example. Have you ever brought your dictionary today? Oh, sorry. Have you brought your dictionary today? Has te traído su diccionario hoy? Have you brought your dictionary today so you say no i haven't brought it it's n in t sound here 
No, I haven't brought it. Have you ever read the latest Harry Potter book? Uh, again, sorry, if that's ever. I don't know why I wrote this here. Have you ever read the latest Harry Potter book? Ya leyó el último libro de Harry Potter? Yes, I have read it. Read termina en this, also read it. Yes, I have read it. So let's practice. Can you please try to say these sentences? Listen and practice. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut. Okay. Have you tried, please, telling the right pronunciation of this? Taste it, try it, watch it. I need to volunteer in this part. Who wants to try? And try to pronounce the sounds, linking the final sound of the verb and the, the vowel, which is at the beginning of the next word. So, Xiomara, and anyone, any other volunteer, please? Xiomara and Stephanie, thank you. Xiomara, can you please answer the question? And Stephanie, the answer. Okay. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? No, I haven't tasted. Have you ever tried Korean food? Yes, I have already tried it. Have you ever watched a reported movie? No, I haven't watched it. Okay, excellent. Very good job at linking this sound. So, taste it and try it and watch it. Watch it. We need to link those sounds. Thank you so much. I need to volunteer to practice and this other. Have you brought your dictionary today? Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Who wants to participate in this part? I have Jacqueline and Jacqueline and any other volunteer? Uh, let's let's choose Lorena. Can you tell me, Lorena, please? Jacqueline and Lorena. Lorena, Lorena have you brought your dictionary today? Okay, Stephanie, can you tell me, please? Okay. No, I haven't broke it. Broke it. Broke it. Broke it. Broke it. Okay. Have you read the last? Have you read the last? The last? ¿Cómo se dice? The latest. Latest. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Yes, I have read it. Read it. Okay, excellent. Read it. I, no, I is known. Okay. No, I haven't really. Okay, yes, I have read it. I say you say, um, actually, I haven't. No los ha leído. Those no. are great books. I hardly recommend to read those books. They are pretty good. Do you have any question about this? So just don't forget si el verbo termina acá en sonido de T o de D, tiene que unir el sonido. ¿verdad? Si la siguiente palabra comienza con una vocal, como it, por ejemplo, Tiene que unir ese sonido. Brought it. Read it. Okay, don't forget about that. Do you have any question? Questions? Okay. If you don't have any other question, let's go with this. We are going to remember this topic, right? Do you remember this? Describing people. We start this. Now, what does she look like? Can you tell me to describe her? Her physical appearance, what does she look like? She has curly hair, she is oh. medium high, and skin brown. I think it's white. 
Okay, you say she has. The first sentence was she has curly, curly hair. Curly and short hair. Okay, curly and short hair. Other sentence, another sentence to describe this hair. She has curly and short hair. Any she, other? she, she, um, medium height. Okay. She has, she, she is, is medium, medium height. 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 And shoving. Or oh, is she shabby or is lean? It's slim. Mm. It's slim. Bueno, it's bueno. It's slim. <laughs> She El ángulo slim. de la foto me dice otra cosa. <laughs> She's a slim. Is she beautiful, cute, gorgeous? Is gorgeous. gorgeous. Okay, she is gorgeous. Teacher. Yes. It could be she has looked messed up. I couldn't hear you very well. Can you please repeat? <laughs> She she has looked messed up, messed 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 up all day. Um, probably. It could be. <laughs> it could be right. So the next, uh, tell me, tell me another sentences. Now remember that we can describe the clubs too. Using the verb have. So she has. I, I said my my sentence teacher. Ah, oh, help me with another one. She has. She has a white blouse. And okay, jeans. she has a white blouse. She has blue jeans. She has. She has. Row on bicycle. Okay, in this case, yes, she is riding. She is riding a bike or a bicycle. She's riding a bike or a bicycle. Then just one more. Una oración más. We have she has curly in short hair. She's medium height. She's slim. She's gorgeous. She has a white blouse. She has blue jeans. She's riding a bike. Uh, any other sentence to describe this girl? She look, she looks dirty. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> I'm not going to write that sentence, right? <laughs> Teacher, and question. Um, yeah. She blue jeans. Is, no sería, she has. Oh yes, yeah, the verb okay. is missing. Thank you. She has blue jeans. And the last sentence, the last sentence to describe this girl have is a red chokers. She has a red, a red choker, gargantilla choker. Can you spell the word for me, please? I think it's it's it's, it's a flowers. It's a red flower, right? A uh, red flower. Well, but let's write the word. This is happening. Can you please tell me? Spell that for me, please. C H O Q. C H O Q. La la otra como. La K. De cual. Cake. E R S. Like this one. Ajá, pero borre la que ha puesto antes, la Q, ajá, ya, ajá. I, R, S. ¿O quiere? Sí, sin la I. Ah, ok, without I, no care. T-H-O-K-E-R. Es la, la E que se, cockers. La primera tema mayúscula. 
Wait, wait. I don't listen you very well. Lo voy a escribir. Ah, ok. Thank you. Si es más a red. We are waiting for the word. Soccer. Okay, that is the first time I uh, listen this word. Thank you so much. So it was choker. She has a red choker. Okay, cool. Let's go with the next. Can you tell me to describe the next boy? Um, can you please tell me some sentences for describing this, this man? He is home. Okay, very good. He is old. He is old. He's hanging out. He is, uh, he is? Hanging, hanging out. Hanging out? No, out. Hanging out. Okay, he's hanging out. He's hanging he has bare. He has a beard. Uh huh. Gray and black. He has a. He has gray and black beard. Any other sentence for describe this man? He's well dressed. Okay, excellent. He is well dressed. He's well dressed. Any other? He has a slim. He is a slim. Okay, he is a slim. Tell me another sentence for describing this this man. He's all he's hanging out. He has a gray and black bird. Beard. He is well dressed. He's slim. He is tall. He is tall. Thank you, Lorena. He is tall. Any other sentence? Uy, he, has he, has, he has yellow jeans. He has yellow yellow jeans. Yes. How do you say chaleco? He has he has shirt. No, he has black. Shoes. Okay, excellent. He has black shoes. He has a brown vest. How do you say el tiene sombrero? What's the sentence? He has, he has black hat. hat. He has a hat. Black. A black hat. A black hat. Okay. He has a black hat. Okay, then we use the verb to be in the verb have to describe people. Any question? Do you have any question? No questions. Let's go no question. Next. Let's go then with the next exercise. Another topic that we have been studying here is the present perfect. And I have this exercise for you. Complete with yet for the scenes and already. We are going to use these four words to complete the following exercise. Look at the first one. I haven't seen my ex for seeing already yet. Which word do I need to complete the sentence? Number one, I haven't seen my ex since 2010. Since, since, number one. Okay, since. Since, I haven't seen my ex since 2010. Excellent. I'm going to choose the color. I haven't finished. Yet. I haven't finished yet. Uh, I have been. 
I have been here for four years. Four years. Four years. Okay. I have been just give me a second. I have been here is the sentence. Don't discard that. I have been here for let's say a period of 10 years. Okay, now it is complete. What do I need? I have been here for four is the right answer for 10 years. We use four for a period of time. I have painted I, my house. I have I have <laughs> really painted my house. What's the word? I have already already thought. Already painted my house. Number five, I have had the same smartphone. I have had the same smartphone. What since since 2015. Okay, a smart smartphone since. a specific point in the past. Then we have things. I have been waiting my wife for a long time. For what happened with this? For for I haven't drunk soda for three months. For three months. No he tomado solita por tres meses. It's a period of time. So I haven't seen my ex since 2010. I haven't finished yet. I have been here for 10 years. I have already painted my house. I have had the same smartphone since 2015. I have been waiting my wife for a long time. I haven't drunk soda for three Months. Okay, who wants to practice reading the sentences? I need two volunteers. The first volunteer is going to read from one to four. Okay, Jacqueline, thank you so much. Um, sentence so, one, I haven't seen, I haven't seen my ex since 2010. When my wife... I haven't fini finished yet. I have been here 14 years. I have already painted my house. I have had the same smartphone si since 2015. I have been wa waiting my wife for a long time. And I haven't drunk soda for three months. Okay, that was perfect. Thank you so much. In the next exercise, we are gonna write sentences in, sim in present perfect. So let's go with the next exercise. And here we are going to write sentences in present perfect simple. Um, but we're not going to write, we're going to say sentences. Using this information, they play football. In present perfect, ¿cómo nos quedaría esa oración? They, They have, have played football. Is it correct? They have played football. football. Is it correct? Yep. What about the next one? What is the past participle form of speak? Oh. No, he has spoken. He has spoken. He has is spoken. Spoken English. In the next one, he has have, broken. Hey, a have, plan. I have. I have. I have. Sorry. Wrote. Wrote. 
Wrath or Britain? Britain. Britain. Sí, Wrath es pasado. Britain. Oh, ok. Ok. Eh, the next. Yeah. We haven't. We don't. We haven't watched the car. Washes. We, we the haven't car. washed. Watch the car. Okay. Nancy. Nancy hasn't. Has not. Hasn't. Nancy hasn't hasn't met her met, friend. Met. Met. Okay, excellent. They have played football. He has spoken English. I have written a poem. We haven't watched the card. Nancy hasn't met her friends. Question. How to make sentences using present perfect? No question. Let's try the next exercise. Right, question in present perfect. Question, we're going to write question using this information. They finish their homework. Have they finished their homework? Okay, have they finished? Plus question mark. Work. Okay, is it correct? Have they finished their homework? The second one. Number two. Has she visited her friend? Okay, has she visited? Visited. Her okay. friend. The next one. Uh, number three. Has the has, has the may has the, the may clean the house. The house. The house. Okay, is have or has? Has. Has has, has the has the maid cleaned the house. Okay, let's write the same thing. Has the maid cleaned? Cleaned the house. Is it correct now? No. Why not? Mrs. Question mark. <laughs> ah, yes, you're right. It's a question, then we need a question mark. Number four. Has no. he driven the van? Has he driven? The van. What is a van? Like microbus. Okay. Yes. And the last one. Have you ever ever written a poem? Have you ever written? Writing. A poem. More yeah. Here we need a question mark. Has he driven the van? It's a question. So have they finished their homework? What is a good answer for this question? What is a good answer? Yes, they have. 
Okay, yes, they have. La negativa sería no, they haven't. La siguiente, has she visited her friend? The answer? Yes, she has. Ah, yes, okay. she has. Yes, she yes. has. Yes, she has. The next one, has the maid clean the house? No, no she... it has. Has the maid clean the house? The maid is a person, right? So it's she. No, mm. she hasn't. No, she no, hasn't. She hasn't. Uh, has he driven the car? So no, the he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Then the last one, have you ever written a poem? Then, yes, you have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Y la negativa sería no. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Question, do you have any question about this? If you don't have any other question, then let's go to say a look at the final exam. How was it? ¿Cómo estuvieron estos ejercicios en el examen final? ¿Were they easy or difficult for you? It's medium. Ah, okay. Here we go, exercise number one. It was a listening. So listen to the conversation and keep the correct information in this part. And we are going to hear here some description of these people and we are going to answer. Look at the option and then we're going to play the out. Listen to the conversation. Can you listen? Check the correct. Can you listen to the audio? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, thank listen you. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Oh, uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. Two. Okay, what is the name of the woman this man is looking for? What is the name? Number three. Number three, Emily's Emily fairly short and about 25. About 25. Ah, okay, that is the answer for the exercise. But now the question is, what is the name of the woman this man is looking for? ¿Cuál es el nombre de la mujer que está buscando el hombre? What's the name? What's her name? Emily. And the last name? Did you listen to the last name? It was Emily Black. Let's go with the second one. Look at the second one. Sarah, did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? No, I didn't. What's he like? Well, his name's Steve, and he's very nice. And he's tall, really tall. He's over six feet tall. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde and curly. He sounds very handsome. He is. And he's the same age as Judy. So he's only 19? Yes, that's right. Three. Okay, what is the name of the guy? What is the name of this guy? Esa es una gran coqueta, teacher. 
<laughs> yes, his name is Steven. She's flirting. Okay, Steven. Yes. And how old is Steven? Yes. How, how old is Steven? Steve, sorry. How old is Steve? Steve. Nineteen. 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 Tiene la misma edad que la chica. Now in the exercise, Steve has blue eye and black hair. Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair. She, Steve is only 29 years old and handsome. What's the answer? Steve is really Steve tall is really and has curly blonde hair. Okay, excellent. Let's listen number three. All right, Mr. Brown. Tell me again what happened here. Thank you, officer. I told you. The man took my wife's purse from the back of her chair. We were at this table. What did the thief look like? I told you, he was elderly. He was maybe in his 70s. And about how tall was he? You mean how short was he? He was short, only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well, he had on baggy pants and a red t-shirt. He also had a white beard. Four. Okay. Hi, I'm new here. He was short. Okay, what's the answer in number three? Number one. No, the number one. He was short, had a white beard, and was elderly. Okay. Eh, ¿Qué edad más o menos tiene? He was elderly. He was in his... 80s, 70s, 90s, 60s. Could you listen that part? ¿Cuántos años más o menos? 60, 70, 80. Could you listen that part? What color was his t-shirt? ¿De qué color era su camiseta? Mm -hmm. ¿De qué color era? You didn't listen that part. Then let's see the answer. And let's listen the last one, number four. Anyway, I'm going to refresh the page. Listen to the conversation. How tall was he? You mean how short was he? He was short, only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well, he had on baggy pants and a red t-shirt. He also had a white beard. Four. Hi, I'm new here. My name's Sharon. I'm Charlie. Welcome to our school party. Do you want something to eat? Not right now, thanks. Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. Which ones are they? They're that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them, thanks. And one more thing. Is Clara here? I need to ask her a question about her homework for tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, yes, I see her. She's wearing jeans and a red sweater. She's standing over there talking to Tom. Okay, what's the answer here in number four? Number three. Okay, AJ and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on a coach. Let's see if we got 10 in this part. Yes, 20 points of 20 points. Okay, let's go in a hurry with the next. B, complete the conversation. Use the present perfect of the verse given in brackets. Okay, there's past participle of the verb in parentheses. Have you? What being. is the past participle of being? Being. And yes, I have already. Seeing. What's the past participle? Simple of C, seen. Number two, what's the past participle of have? Has. Okay, in this case, it has he ever eaten Thai food before? And the next, B, no, he has never. Had. Okay, thank you. Now let's go with the next exercise. Read the sentences and choose the correct answer. 
What is the right answer here? I live in Boston for or since? Four. Okay, four or five years. I love every minute I was there. Number two, my wife and I have gone to Costa Rica every year. Since? Four. four. Since? And the last one. Patrick has studied Portuguese for a long time. For, for a long time. A long time. Okay, excellent. Good. Let's say a little bit far. Tell me to complete this part. Then read the following sentences and choose the correct word. Number one, my brother is in about or at his 20s and goes to college in Arizona. In. My brother is in his 20s. Tracy does, has, or is. What is the right has. word? Has. Tracy has short, straight black uh, hair and blue eyes. Number three, he will's nephew. Is five few feet eight is okay. Phil's nephew is five feet eight, has dark brown beard and mustache. Number four, has Martin ever? Mm, number one, teacher Misa. Mm -hmm. How do you say, teacher? Miss kind of loss. La primera es perder, y luego tenemos climb, que es trepar, y love, que es perder también. Which one do you think is the correct one? ¿Cuál es la correcta? Miss, climb, Miss. or loss? Number one. Number one. And number five, how many times have you lost your... Cell phone. Cell phone. Oscar, do you have a question? What's your question? My question is about teacher who can, who could like to say al pie de la letra in English. For example, if I want to say, you can follow the rules al pie de la letra. How can mm -hmm. I to say in English? Uh, al pie de la letra, bueno. No conozco ninguna frase, it, pero si un... It could be, it could be step by step. Eh, eso sería como ir etapa por etapa, paso por paso. Uh -huh. En inglés lo que se usa es el auxiliar más, que es usted debe. You must mm. follow the rules. Okay. Usted debe seguir la regla, es como una obligación. You must follow the rules. Ok, I'm taking a note. Thanks. Okay. okay. Number six is the last one. Have you ever driving a truck? Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Lorena. Okay, let's go with this exercise. So we write and ensemble the sentences. Number one. Is Georgia's steady and twisty hair really in? ¿Cómo reescribieron esa oración? Do you remember that? Who wants to help me to write this? Christy. Okay, Christy. In Sirtius. Is in his. My Christy is in her. Is. My, ¿cómo le recibieron? Do you remember? Tell me, tell me to rewrite this sentence. Christy is 30. No, teacher, Christy is in her 30th and really 30? gorgeous. 
Okay. No, quítale el link, teacher. Christy is. Chris, no, es Christy is in her. Ah, Christy in. In her. Teacher, es Christy. Christy is really gorgeous. Okay, Christy is really gorgeous. gorgeous. And and what about the rest of the word? In her thirties. Christy is really gorgeous. In her thirties. And here. Then I need to delete in. Okay, let's see if this works. No, it is no, incorrect. It's incorrect, teacher. So, Christy is really gorgeous. Sorry, gorgeous and. and y el link, ¿dónde está? And in. And in her 30. Yes, yes, así. Ah, let's try again. No. Me sigue saliendo mala. <laughs> yes. no, es que no. es. Christy, Christy is in her 30s. Her 30s and really gorgeous. Ah, okay. Let's try yes. again. Let's start again in this part. La voy a mandar como la puse. Porque si está buena. Así me salió buena. <laughs> Christy. Bueno. It is in, in her, her 30th, 30th and really gorgeous. And really gorgeous. This is correct, teacher. Let's see if you're right. Yes, you're right. One, that two. is okay. One point for you. Um, where most I had sand dust glasses and what was the phrase? Does some have a, do, does some have a mustache and weird glasses? Tengo otra respuesta yo. La tengo igual que tú. Me sale bien. Does Pero, some uh, have uh -huh. a mustache and? And, and weird glasses? Yo la puse does some weird glasses. <laughs> Let's see. Let's yeah. try. Uh, no, I made a mistake. Oh, I mean, algo puso mal, pero me salió, a mí me salió bien, teacher. Does some. Uh -huh, me también. Have a Does mouse. some. Oh, ¿te has puesto? Mustache. Yo. Mustache. And where? Una O Las. de más, teacher. Yeah. La O uh -huh. está de más. Ah, está okay. de más. El teacher me a lot of mistakes. Yo, como Stephanie, tengo la respuesta. Oh, no, really. Esta palabra la discutimos hace poco también, ¿se acuerdan? Mustache yes. and mustache. Teacher, We can... yo tengo la respuesta Está como viendo las dos formas. en el chat. Ajá. Hay dos okay. formas para responder, igual que en la una. Ajá. Uh -huh. and wear glasses and have a mustache. Ah, ok. Pero, pero vamos ganando los que le hicimos de otro modo. <risa> Sí, no, pero es es que, es tan buena. Yo creo que algo tendrá el sistema, porque yo lo intenté poner así, así, perdón, de la forma en que lo ha puesto Stephanie, y no me agarró, o sea, no me salía buena. A mí hasta que la puse así como la, la tenemos ahorita con el teacher, la dio buena. Ajá, porque yo probé de otras maneras y me salía mala. Entonces, hasta bueno. que probé de esta manera, me salen buenas a mí. Eh, digamos, digamos, teacher. Y la culpa no era de nosotros. <risa> ah, El sistema sí. está fraccionado. <risa> Pero ambas están, ambas están bien. O sea, el sistema de aceptar las dos. Ya vamos a ver eso. Solo terminamos la número tres y vamos a ver cuáles serán las respuestas en el sistema. Número tres. Cindy is medium height and has long red hair. Cindy is medium height. Height. And has long red hair. 
Ok, let's see if it's right. ¿Así la tienen todos? Ok, yes, it is right. So, I'm going to choose you this. Which are the possible answers? And now you can see here, which are the possible answers? Ajá, habían dos. Uh, para cada ejercicio habían dos respuestas, ¿verdad? Christy is really gorgeous and in her 30s. Christy is in her 30s and really gorgeous. Does Sam wear glasses and have a mustache? Does Sam have a mustache and wear glasses? Cindy has long red hair and is medium high. Cindy is medium high and has long red hair. Who's the person sitting on the couch next to Jason? Or who's the person sitting next to Jason on the couch? Ambas, bueno, todas las, todas tenían dos opciones ¿verdad? para responder. Ahora se dan cuenta porque a algunos les apareció buena de una forma y a otros de otra. Eh, la realidad, Oscar peleando eh, está. Era por, si, <risa> por si se querían dar copia. ¿verdad? Lo que pasa es que si, si se dan cuenta, todas son mujeres. Tenemos que defendernos. Ay. <risa> no, nos ven, no nos ven la cara de triste con el teacher. Y el teacher que no me ayuda. <risa> Rolando nos abandonó hoy, ¿verdad? Sí, Rolando, Rolando lo dejó. Bueno, and then it was the reading part. También vimos este ejercicio. Tiene cuatro opciones nada más. ¿Cuáles eran? Do you remember? Just for I, I remember. Was it the right clothes? Send an email, make travel, uh, 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 Adam, Adam, uh, uh, go, go dancing, go shopping, 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 Ah, ok. En, ese, en, el, en el D. En, en ese último teacher sí no puedo decir nada porque Jacqueline me ayudó. Ah, ok. Ahí, sí, es que ahí, ahí hubieron problemitas, entonces hablé con Oscar también porque no me daba <risa> al principio. Ok, but now you have done it. Ok, espero que al ver su barrita de progreso, eh, al día de hoy ya tengan todo completo, ¿verdad? Ya tengan su, todas las barritas arriba, con el arriba del 80%. Muy bien. That's it then. Thank you so much for being here with me uh, during this night in this English course. It has been really nice to be with you. Thank you, Oscar, Jacqueline, Graciela, Kenny, Jamile, Xiomara, Stephanie, Jancy, Lorena, and Henry for being part of this English course. I really appreciate your help. Uh, during the classes. Thank you for your participation, for your attention. Thank you very much. It has been a pleasure. See to you be soon, good. ladies. Then see you around. Uh, hoy es nuestra última clase, ¿verdad? Si los vemos por ahí, say hello, right? Hey, hello. Hello, ever. Hello, teacher. Hello, coach, whatever you want to say. But say hello, right? En caso que los vea por ahí. If no, Ha sido un placer. Thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias. Take care. Cuídense mucho. Y bye bye. Have a good night. Bye. Thank, bye. You, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let's go. Nice to meet you, Oscar. Take care. Me too, teacher. Thank, Thank you, you, Lorena. Teacher. Thank you, Henry. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, Lorena. Take care.